everyone, it's Julie Murphy, and a number of you have asked me how do you add threads to your software so that you can use them when you're doing designs to send to your uh, machine. So let me show you how I go about it. The first thing I do is I open my software, and I'm using PE Design 11, but if you have 10 or Next, what you do is you go up here to Options, and you go down, once you go to Options, you'll go down to Options, and then you go to Edit User Thread Chart. And these are the th uh, thread charts that are actually included with PE Design 11. Um, this time they actually have added Floriani, which is predominantly what I use. But if you're in 10 or Next, it doesn't really matter if it's not there. What I do, instead of just pushing over the entire chart, I come over and I set up, I also have Isochord threads and Madeira threads. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up a new chart and I'm going to call it My Floriani. And then it automatically just gives you these two um, thread colors. You can rename those or you can keep them. And then what, what you do next is come over here to, you can come over to Floriani and I only move over the threads that I actually have. And this has, I'm adding this thread, which is a 501. And there it is. And you just say add. And as you add each one, let's go ahead and do another one. Let's see here. Let's add a 522. And a 524. And let's see here, I have a 200. Now, you'll notice that they've been going in order, but now I've put in a 200. And all you have to do is highlight it and go to the Up button. And there it is. And you can just keep doing that. I actually add them as I have the threads or as I am working on a design and I want to pull them over. Now one thing you can do, if you'll notice that this yellow, I don't think really matches up to the yellow that's in the system, is you can come up here and click on it and you can say edit. And then you go into mix and you can mix the color right here that's closer to what you think you have. And then you say add to custom colors and you say OK. You can give it the number, the name, and then just say OK and it's in your chart. Once you're done with that, let's say OK. And now those threads, when you go to import a design, suppose you're working on this one and you want to pull in those threads, you go over to your, your color tab up here and change this to, if you'll look, there's the My Floriani. And those are the few colors I just added in. And now you can select which colors you want to work with. It, it's nice because I put the My in front of each one, whether it's My Floriani, My Ice Quarter, My Madeira. And then I can use the threads that I know that I actually have versus using the entire chart, changing colors in a design. So then let's look at if I want to add them to a chart that I already have going. So again, let me take back out. So you go into Option, Options, and then you go into Edit User Thread Chart. And I don't worry about this column right now. What I'm going to go into, because this time I'm actually working with my Madeira. And this also, because these are the threads that I actually have, when I'm ordering threads, I can actually go into my Madeira and I can quickly see, do I have that thread color or not? This one is number 1184, and I can see I do not have it in my chart. So because Madeiras are in our software, you can then go into Madeira Rayon, and this one is number 1184, and there it is. And then what you do is you add it over. It's always going to add it to the bottom. So when you move it over, then you need to highlight that one and do your up button. 
and move it up to where it belongs. Now if once you move it over, sometimes they don't always have these uh, colors correctly, you can always again highlight it, edit the item, and go back in and mix it um, until you get the color that you're looking for. Now suppose you're working in 10 or next, they don't actually have um, the Floriani threads in the system. So again, all you would do is you can say Option, go into Options, Edit User Thread Chart. You can still set up the My Floriani. Suppose I say I have a purple thread and there's no Floriani chart over here. I can just pull from any of the charts that are there and I, if I see that this is a purple that I want to use, I can say Add, I can then highlight it and I can say edit the item. I can go in and remix it. I can make it lighter. I can move the color combination to it. And then I add it to the custom colors and I say OK. Now here, suppose this was a purple that I had that I wanted to add for Floriani. Then I just change the number. I'm just going to make one up and say 1129. I can change this to say Floriani and then I'll say OK and there it is in my Floriani chart. So you can add any color from this column and it doesn't matter what brand and you can go in and edit the item, remix it, renumber it, um, change the brand by it or if you just say I don't want this color here any longer and you realize you've put it in the wrong chart there's not a delete button but that's not a problem they instead have this remove button and even if I had gone in here and changed this number to something else and I want to delete it you can't go if you hit delete chart it's going to delete your entire chart all you're wanting to do is just remove it. And once you do that, once you, let me go back and show you what I did. Once you highlight it, you can go right here to this remove button and it removes it from your chart. And that's how you can add and create your own thread charts according to what threads you have. You can do it that way. Anyway, I hope this helps and thanks for watching.